AI is becoming out of hand. In just the past two years, people went from using AI to cheat on homework to being able to watch Star Wars Revenge of the Redneck that boy's done, ain't nothing left to do to having humanoid robots being able to serve us drinks at the bar. Oh I don't know whether to be impressed or scared with how quickly AI is advancing. A year ago, we had the viral clip of Will Smith eating spaghetti, which you could obviously tell was fake and made using AI. But now we have this. Okay, okay, that was just a joke. It was actually Will Smith just pretending to act like AI. But here's a video from one month ago, and it's a big improvement from the original video that we saw. You can still tell that the video isn't real, but some of the shots look pretty lifelike. If you were to look at it at a quick glance or show it to a child with no context, it could be mistaken as real. This tweet from nine years ago is looking more and more like a reality because look what's about to become available for purchase. Why, baby? Ten minutes without you seems like an eternity. <laughs> And that's the fear with AI. Don't get me wrong, there are some cool aspects such as AI covers of songs. I mean, who wouldn't want to hear Drake dissing himself? I personally don't see this as a problem because we know it's AI and who wouldn't want to hear their favorite artist singing a particular song? You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it, you better never let it go. AI does have its positives when it's being used to move humanity forward, but the problem is when it starts being used to deceive others. If you're watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who'll get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. Click the link below to claim yours now. This is just scary. What you just saw was an AI generated deepfake of Mr. Beast that went viral. Somehow that video passed TikTok's approval and became an ad on the platform that appeared as you're just seamlessly scrolling through videos. Not only did they make the video appear as if it was posted by a verified Mr. Beast account, but they had replicated his face and the voice sounds exactly like him. So one could easily be tricked into clicking that link. Now keep in mind that this is just the beginning. AI research began in the 1950s, but it wasn't until 2022 when OpenAI released chat GBT that the AI craze really started. Just imagine in five to 10 years from now, as the technology improves, you're going to have people in the courtroom using AI as a defense, claiming that the video of what looks like them committing a crime is actually an AI generated deep fake. And speaking of AI generated videos. All right, come on, come on. We need some more wood. Oh, wait, what is this? A lava rod can be crafted into lava tools. So in August 2023, YouTuber Quebel Cop announced an AI generated virtual persona on his channel. I decided to clone myself. I decided to make a virtual version of Quebel Cop. Instead of the real person playing video games and doing commentary like he usually does, you have this AI cartoon character who talks over gameplay. Oh, whoa, 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 keep taking damage. And the reason he did this, well, because he was lazy. Quebel Cop said that every time he wanted to take a holiday or needed time for him, Himself, he couldn't do that because his entire business would stop. Well, newsflash, that's how it is in the real world. You can't just take a break whenever you want. Kubikop was so lazy and so unpassionate that he decided to create an animated AI replica of himself to do all the work for him. So he could just sit back, relax, and make money while the AI does everything. Now, of course, he was hit with a lot of backlash. People felt that it was a scummy, low effort way to make money. There is nothing good about replacing people with AI across the board. There isn't. There's not a single argument that can be made that what Quebelcop is doing is good. It's only good for him because he can make a lot of money off of it without ever doing anything at all. So Quebelcop heard the feedback, but he didn't listen because instead of shutting down this AI project, he decided to release AI 2.0. Everyone has ever said about Quebelcop AI has been heard. Every bit of criticism. Every second you've been watching of this video so far has been completely AI generated. Well, if you couldn't tell that it was AI, then you're likely one of those people who would fall for the Mr. Beast AI scam. Quobocop created a realistic AI clone of himself and for months was uploading gameplay using this AI that looked exactly like him. The voice was AI. Sneaking under leaves, it's stealth mode me. Aha, pretty flowers, gonna make a fancy bouquet. The commentary script was written by AI and even the gameplay was AI. It's just pathetic and I agree with the tweets some of the worst stuff that I've ever seen it's just crazy to think that in a few years from now as this technology improves and more people use AI some of our favorite youtubers or other content creators may be AI without us ever knowing if the technology is good enough there's not really a way of us knowing for sure before uploading videos on YouTube there is a little box section altered content of which you have to check either yes or no if the video contains AI but the big problem with this is that it's so easy just to check no this is the fear with AI that eventually it'll overtake every human aspect 
aspect of the entertainment industry and eventually we'll no longer need people to write scripts, film movies, or even star in movies. And we're coming close because recently Meta announced a new AI tool called MovieGen and it's a little too impressive. What you just saw was a snippet of an ad for Meta's AI generated video tool called MovieGen, which can create videos and audio simply from text. How it works is you simply use a text input such as rain pouring against the cliff and the person with music playing in the background, and it creates a scene for you what looks like straight from a movie. I feel like AI has struggled to truly represent human emotion. When it comes to the cursed meme videos, sure they look somewhat real, but there's always an aspect of the videos that make the people look soulless. But MovieGen has a feature called personalized video and honestly, it is scary how realistic it is. How the feature works is you simply upload a photo of yourself with a text prompt and it'll create a video of you. Here are some examples and you take a look, they are very realistic. Simply uploading this photo with a text prompt, you get a video of the lady sitting in a pumpkin patch, sipping coffee and smiling. Now another capability that movie gen has is video editing. In these examples, you can see the original video in the top left corner, but with the simple text prompt, AI is able to edit the video and add or remove whatever you'd like. AI has improved so much in just a short period of time, and although it is impressive and can be beneficial in certain areas, it's also very scary because as of now, we just don't have proper laws or policies put into place to deal with its consequences. For example, a huge problem is AI being used to generate explicit deepfakes. AI is becoming so good that people are starting to struggle with identifying what's real and what's not. In the beginning of this year, explicit AI generated photos of Taylor Swift went viral and it caused a huge global panic about non-consensual use of AI. This also happened to Bobby Althoff, a popular podcaster who had a very explicit photo of her posted online, except it wasn't actually her. People were so convinced that it was her that she had to come forward and put out a statement clarifying that it wasn't her. It also recently happened to a popular streamer, QT Cinderella, and here was her response to the entire situation. It should not be part of my job to be harassed, to see pictures of me nude spread around. It should not be something that is found on the internet. It shouldn't be, That's that shouldn't be a part of my job. The person that made that website, I'm going to do you. I promise you, with every part of my soul, I'm going to do you. Cutie Cinderella vowed to sue the person behind the website that allows deepfakes of herself and others, but she said that every single lawyer she's talked to has essentially come to the conclusion that they don't have a case, that there's no way to sue the guy. We are seeing this so often nowadays. A few months back, someone took a photo of Ice Spice and Uzi and used AI to make it into a video of the two kissing. It already is scary enough being a woman, but this just adds a whole new level of fear for not just celebrities, but for everyone. You could be in the comfort of your own home, wake up one morning and realize that you're the victim of virtual SA via AI. Again, AI AI is improving so fast and I just don't think we're ready for it. AI can bring a lot of great things into this world and the possibilities are endless. For example, when it comes to being used for autonomous vehicles and healthcare, it can be good. But as of now, we just don't have proper laws and policies put into place to protect people against the misuse of AI. Anyways, I'm really curious what your thoughts about the future of AI is. So leave a comment down below and let me know. If you did enjoy my video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already, but that's officially gonna do it for my video. So I'll see you in the next one.